shoots back the recoil and it hits your trachea. I'm not playing. This is my voice. Okay, so I do have to tell you guys uh, real quick what, what happened here in this video. So this was one, like, I got this guy to take me snorkeling and, and teach me how to spearfish. Spoiler alert, spear fishing is way harder than I ever imagined, okay? It's like hunting on crack. For one, you're holding a gun that's like five feet long while swimming, swimming with it. I had a snorkel, so I'm also having to go under the water and hold my breath, all right? And there's like really hard waves swishing you all around. Um, oh, and the one other thing, you have to decompressurize. So you're having to like swim down and every like five feet, I'm having to like then hold my nose with one hand and, and like blow out. So there's a lot going on, and then you're trying to catch fish. You guys, fish are really, really fast. And like, they'll like swim there and be like, <laughs> fish. So anyway, I had to deal with the fish thing. And what I did learn spear fishing is you're actually supposed to like, if this is a fish, you're supposed to like swim under them and like shoot up. That wasn't happening, y'all. So I went down like three times. By the time I got down there, the fish are like, so the third time, I'm just like, screw it, you guys. I'm just gonna go down and fire this stupid gun. So I go down there. And this is what you saw in the video. I go to shoot it and the recoil um, comes back and it hits me in the trachea. And that's why I had such a squeaky little voice. Because <laughs> And when it happened, I was like, in my mind, I'm at the bottom of the water here. I got took all that energy to get to the bottom. It knocks the wind out of me. And all the, like, I suck in all this seawater. And I'm literally looking up at the top like, And I still wasn't far enough on the bottom where I could like push off, like I'm still like suspended in the middle here, like, oh, come on. So then I finally like get up top and I can't breathe, I can't talk, and the guy's like, okay, let me take that, you know, and he's talking and I'm sitting there like coughing up water and he doesn't notice anything's wrong with me at all. He's kind of a jerk. Um, so then he like takes his little thing and he goes and shoots some fish and I'm like up there like thinking, oh my god, what am I going to do? I can't breathe. I can't talk. I'm sitting there just like, like just fluttering in the water. Obviously I survived. Um, but it was just really crazy because I had no idea spearfishing was that hard. Um, basically if I'm ever stranded on a deserted island, between my spearfishing fail and then me trying to open a coconut, which, oh my goodness, you guys, they're like rocks. <laughs> like they are like rocks. Like rock rocks. Like I'm like bashing it. It's not, it even had a hole in the top. And I couldn't get it to like finish breaking open. I'm, I'm, you don't want to be on a deserted island with me. No, no, we are, we are out of luck. 